Welcome again. In this video, we are going to configure the Checkpoint Security Management Server. As in the last video, we show you how you can configure the primary gateway, Checkpoint Primary Gateway. So let's start uh, Checkpoint Management Server. Click on it and you will get a putty session. Wait for a few seconds and uh, press enter. Enter the username, admin and the password is test, capital D, EST, one, two, three enter so currently we are accessing this checkpoint security management server first time so we need to configure the IP address so that we can take it the GUI and uh, do the further configurations as it is mentioned here in order to configure your system please access the web UI and finish the first time visit okay so to configure the checkpoint let's see the interface details using the command show interface and Ethernet 0 here you can see by default it has taken the IP 192.168.1.1 so let's change the IP using the command set if you don't know the further commands you can press the tab key and the next is interface and uh, then again press the tab key you will see which interface you want to configure so currently I want to configure is Ethernet 0 because Ethernet 0 is current currently connected with the checkpoint management server okay so what is the further thing we need to configure is IPv4 address IPv4 address now it is saying what IPv4 address you want to configure so I have already decided that I am going to use 1040100 so let me mention it 1040100 and what is the subnet mask you want to define so subnet mask is I am using the class C address subnet mask so 225.255.255.0 okay that is set now let's confirm one more time show interface ethernet 0 and here you can see it's uh, successfully configured now let's access this from the admin PC here is the admin PC which is directly connected to checkpoint uh, SMS server using by a, a small switch okay let's go to the admin PC now I have already opened the admin PC let's see the IP address what is configured here so I have configured let me show you from, uh, from the properties I'll go to IPv4 address properties and here it is so here is the IP 104.0.0.5 okay class C subnet I have already decided I'm going to use 24 subnet and the gateway is 104.0.0.100 okay cool so 104 is my gateway currently for this okay let's close this close this close this and check the connectivity between the admin PC and the checkpoint security management server I'll use a command prompt and enter the command ping 1040000 and we have connectivity okay now we will open through a web browser so I'm using a Internet Explorer HTTPS 1040000 enter continue to this website you will get the portal Gaia portal now enter the admin and password is test123 capital it's capital T EST123 now press login because we are accessing the first time this Gaia portal so what we need to do is we need to do the first time configuration wizard so there, this is a few step by step process once you done then you can able to access the checkpoint firewall okay click next select continue with r80.10 configuration click next here we need to configure this ethernet 0 interface by default we have already configured the IP address using the CLI the only thing we need to add here is the default gateway so now for this security management server we our gateway will be checkpoint primary gateway so the gateway IP is 104.0.0.254 so let me add here 104.0.0.254 okay so click next and uh, click next now few things we need to change is uh, host name let's change the host name and I want the Host name will be checkpoint hyphen sms 
our security management server here it is as we have already mentioned in the diagram now domain name as currently in our topology we have not added any windows servers or any other servers so i'll leave it right current uh, right now i'll add it later i'll add the primary secondary dns server later if required okay i'll click next now the date and time setting this is also important so currently the time is 0 to 53 pm and i'm in india so i'm into the kolkata asia as my time zone now click next now installation type now installation type what do you want you want to install security gateway or a security management so right now i'm talking about security management security gateway we have already installed in last video so click next and here you will get the product checkboxes information so click uncheck the security gateway because we have already installed tick this option security management and click next now the management administrator now here you will get two options one use gaia administrator the same username password that i'm using admin password test123 or if you click here you can define a new administrator enter the username password and a confirm password okay i'm going with the same username password i'll configure later in the for the videos that how you can create an administrator and how you can create a role for that okay click next now you will get security management GUI client this means that you have four options one like uh, who can access this uh, security management server like any IP so any IP from our network can access this machine if I select this then only 104.0.0.5 can access if I select network you need to enter the IP and subnet from which network either it is from the management network or LAN, WAN, DMZ they can access okay but you need to define the IP address and submit or the range of IPv4 address suppose I want 1404.0.0.5.2.7 can access the the security management through GUI okay so there are four options but currently just for example purpose I'm going with uh, any IP address now once you select it click next and finish now you will pop up with one message this will start the configuration process are you sure you want to continue click yes now you need to wait for a few minutes and uh, so once this will finish I'll uh, resume back so I'm going to save some time so you don't need to have wait for a long okay so all the installation is completed so click uh, the OK button and the firewall will restart it here you can see the okay so we are able to access the checkpoint now so I'll just full screen I'll just full screen it and uh, so you can easily see the entire sections of this firewall so now the checkpoint uh, security management server is installed now here you can see all the blades detail currently none of them are uh, active and uh, here is the interfaces details now here is the overview little bit I talk about already talked about in the last video so this is how we can uh, install the checkpoint security management server so thanks for joining in the next video you will come up with uh, more about the smart consoles that how we can download the smart consoles and connect it with uh, the checkpoint security management server and we download a smart console in this PC and uh, access the checkpoint security management server thank you